In this video, you'll learn how to set up a React app with TypeScript using Create React App. You'll also learn how to add TypeScript to a pre-existing React project. My name's Andrew. Let's get started. This video won't cover how to use TypeScript, but if this is your first time using this language, I recommend you go to typescriptlang.org where you can learn about using TypeScript, go through a comprehensive guide, as well as use a playground to try out TypeScript in the browser without having to install anything locally first. It's a great way to dip your toes into TypeScript and learn how it works. First, we're gonna use Create React App to bootstrap a new project that uses the TypeScript template. This is going to add all of the starting files that we need to use TypeScript in a Create React App project. And it's the simplest way to get started with TypeScript if you're working from a brand new project. Now that we have the TypeScript project initialized locally, we can investigate it and see what makes it different. You can see right off the bat, it has a tsconfig.json file. The files themselves within the source code use a .tsx extension. That way the compiler knows that it's using TypeScript. And there's also a declarations file um, that's pulling in declarations from the types in React. And so all of these are working together to make TypeScript work for this React project right out of the box. Let's create a new project with Create React App that doesn't use TypeScript as a template out of the box. So this is going to give us a fresh JavaScript based React project. And knowing what we know now, we're going to set up TypeScript for it. Out of the box, the project continues the work like usual because we're not using any TypeScript yet. We can see in our new JavaScript project that there's no tsconfig.json, and if we investigate the packages, we can see that they have different dependencies. So one of the first things we're going to do is install the dependencies that allow the project to use TypeScript. In this case, for a React app, that means installing the TypeScript dependency as well as the at types dependencies that are relevant for the project we're working on. If we flip between the two package files, we can see that they now have the same dependencies, just slightly different versions of them. So now let's start using TypeScript. The first thing I can do is rename app.js to be app.tsx, and immediately my IDE is going to recognize that I'm working with TypeScript now. But back in my app, we're getting an error. This is because the app doesn't know where to find the TypeScript file or what to do with it because we renamed one of the files that was originally imported. To fix this, we need to actually have a tsconfig.json file. This is a file that's in the root of every TypeScript project that tells the TypeScript compiler how to work with your files. Once we add that, we get a new error. This error is about missing declarations. You'll recall from our original TypeScript app that we had an import for React types, and this was in a declaration file. By copying the same file over to our new project, we can import these same types because they're already present in our node modules. And by doing so, we fix all of the errors. So now we've added TypeScript manually to our app. Now you know how to bootstrap a React project with TypeScript, which means you'll gain all the benefits of strong typing and better tooling. Thanks for watching.